Okay, y'all, I'm with the Rogue Nation at the county school board. Risk management. <laughs> <clears throat> Here's administration finance, staff attorney. We have some listed public notices. How you doing today, ma'am? Uh, we're just in the area. We're taking a tour of the facility. We're uh, going to do some record requests. Does that is that handle here? Or? Oh no, we. I want to see somebody here today. Whoever's uh, your custodian of records here for the school board. They got the superintendent. Doesn't look like the superintendent's in. The office looks dark. So he might not be. He might not be out there. Thank you, ma'am. I always like to see the sign-in book to see who's meeting with our public officials. See anyone from the sheriff's office? <laughs> Hopefully none of those that we just mentioned earlier. So, five to two, the 23rd of May. Who's learning me the intricacies of these audits and examinations? Must have fallen and can't get up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you for asking. I'm not with this gentleman. I'm married to a woman. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, adding clarity. <laughs>
It's going to go down. It's getting set down. <laughs> Now at seven, what is it, six, six seven hundred? I uh, noticed I use like about two gigabytes per 20 minutes. I kind of have a math. That's on my S22. You said they were coming out now? Okay. Hello. This might be for you. Oh, are you for me, ma'am? Yeah. Wait, do you have permission to film this one? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, hold on just a second. Well, she's not very receptive of being filmed. She needs a second. All this uh, joint, yeah, because it, it kind of off balance, right? right? It's at an angle. Excuse me. I'm gonna go down any further. Yeah, I don't think you could shim that out. You know, like. Where did this young lady go? Right back. Oh. All right, I don't want to be here all day. I know you guys are busy, and I'm busy as well. I'm just kind of processing what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had to go get acceptance. Oh. She had to go find solace in yes. the Lord and Savior. Then she'll come back and take our request. Take one for the home team, honey. You can do it. Usually when people go to work, they're put together, so it shouldn't matter if you're on camera, you're looking your best, you know? I didn't find any deficiencies. If I go to work, I'm usually looking my best. I, I, are you a betting man? I'll, I'll wager five quickly that she ends up taking our record. This. Um, you know what? I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'd be betting you're probably going to be right. I think that other one rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because she fell, can't get up.
It's not a very accommodating lobby either. <laughs> no. But they got this big old building. You made it a little small rinky dink uh, lobby for the public. Seconds are elapsing, and we are now entering into moron range. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We're flying on a Trump shuttle to Arabia and the waitresses. Now, there's like 400 of us. There's people sleeping on the floor. We're on a Trump shuttle. And uh, these waitresses are airline stewardess, really waitresses. They got frustrated because there was so many of us. So then they didn't bring us anything. So we started stomping our feet like we do when we're getting ready to jump, mm -hmm. hollering out, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> one by one they cracked. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Get in there. <laughs> when I seen her coming up the stairs when I started studying her. but otherwise that's what I first I yeah, was like I, I turned away my camera I was like yeah yeah I was like there's a kid that's why I faced the wall you know do you see my uh, my cool press pass yes those are awesome huh look at that baby bam NBC World of the Sports. There you go. Proud as a peacock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, press passes. Yes, sir. Press I'm up on them and pass me right along. I'm, I'm bonafide. <laughs> bonafide, bonafide. Bonafide journalist. I've never been asked, let me see your credentials. That's an exhilarating moment. <laughs> Could you expand on that and uh, talk about what are my credentials? Ma'am, can you let her know we're, we're out here waiting? Are they they're coming? Okay. Must be a very long hallway. Well, now this here school board, okay, there's a school board and there's this town called Newberry, and they want to make their own charter school for their area. They don't want the public school system. It's my take on it, okay? That's an issue for them. And there's also an issue right now that the Riker House didn't have a business plan that was, um, it didn't meet the muster. It didn't make muster. But they still approved it anyway. Hello. Yeah, you can come on through. I didn't want to oh, you're fine. Yes, ma'am. No, not at all. Can I scooch? Yes, ma'am. We're at your leisure. Gives me a timestamp on the video too. Because I signed in on the. Curiosity killed the cat, or did he live and learn? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, um, 
Can can we talk about anything about um what went on in Orlando? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about the inspector, Inspector Fuzz or Flit, Flazio, yeah, Muhammad. Fahad Muhammad or something. For, 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 Faraz, Faraz, or something. Faraz, Faraz Muhammad. Okay. He, by, he conducted an investigation. All right. We don't know what the scope of the investigation was, but it was very broad parameter. And one of the things that we garnered from his investigation is that he said, by the power of subpoena only, that he acquired 513 pages over 100,000 subscribers. <clears throat> I already called down there and talked to them, to the judges' chambers, about uh, getting the records, you know, and they explained to me how you get the transcripts. Right. And after a certain period, they're less than they were. <coughs> okay, and that's August-ish for me uh, because I don't have any <coughs> entitlement to the case. That right. end, end of August, early September for me. So what I wanted to know <coughs> is how why these records that were so intrusive were so easy to obtain for such <clears throat> evidentiary basis and what it even proved, where, where was the, where, what was the avenue that he was going down for, for that. And, and they also, the, this was a very good trial because there was a federal prosecutor versus a pro se litigant, or a pro se defendant, I'm sorry, pro se defendant, backed up by an unlicensed <coughs> constitutional attorney. Okay? And then you had the, the, the general, Rogue Nation, and his counsel, and uh, he said he, he uh, spoke of his counsel and they spoke well of him. And uh, w when, when we looked at what these people were bragging over in court, because when you enunciate things like that, those are contingent points that you're trying to press home things. They felt so much to say and they were proud and the, the um, inspector smirked <laughs> when he was asked by the prosecutor, how'd you acquire this? knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they proceeded to want to get into someone's income generated. And that, that uh, was squashed twice that I'm aware of. Now, I'm no critic of court proceedings or anything like that. But each time it was put down without no promise of rearing its ugly head, <laughs> except they couldn't keep their mouth from running and trying to focus on that moment again. And I was like, oh, they chopped the head off again. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. No, that was pretty funny. You get no play. Who cares how much money is made on the video? That has nothing to do with our case at all. I don't think the subpoena to find out the information that he felt that he needed to stake a claim, you know, as in there was some kind of crime, you know, like it wasn't building on anything. It was a, a meritless uh, venture. He, he violated a lot of people's rights. I think mm -hmm. that'll be interesting how that plays out. Now, what was the actual agency he was from? Mm. PJ. Oh, uh, no, he was from FPS. Okay, Federal Protective Services. Protective Services. Which is under Department of Homeland Security. That's why the memo applies to them. And, and after a full day of, of gallivanting around all these facts, the federal prosecution was met by the DHS. Never came up the whole time. Y'all sat on that like the ace in the hole it was. Mm -hmm. And y'all played that. You're like, um, have you ever seen, I think it's DHS pamphlet 15 or circular 15, or something like that. It had... It, 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 that was check and mate right there, or that was like, you know, he seen three of a kind shown, but really had a full house. Mm -hmm. 
And I think they could have at that time, basically. Man, do you know what's taking them so long? Is that a long hallway or is there like a traffic jam in the middle? No. <sighs> is there any way you can call or are they like in between? Like help? They're still on their way. Now this is this person's title. This is uh, one of their additional duties or their primary function. We don't know. Here comes somebody up the stairs. Oh, he's the police. Sweet. Hey now. Hey guys, how you doing? Fine, sir. Good. How can I help you today? Um, well, we... No, we're waiting for somebody. You want, uh, are you wanting to do a public records request, you said? Uh, yes. Okay, yes, I I'm going to try to help you with that. Okay. Uh, well, I want to visually inspect and photocopy last month's credit card bill for the school board. Okay. You, so, yeah, you can request that. Yeah, well, I can visually inspect it. I come here to visually inspect it, so all I need to do is just run out the bill, and I'll look it over, and then I'll be out of here. Okay. So, it should be pretty easy. I get them all the time. Let, let me... Uh... Let me go in here and see which department. Should be financial. Whoever pays the bill, I would assume it's financial. Okay. That was the Alachua County Public School Police. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. When they bring that up for me to look at, um, I'm going to write down some receipts. Yes, sir. That we can submit and we'll request those. And then um, they can just email them to us or whatever. If there's a cost, you know, I'll have them email it to me because um, it shouldn't be too much. But um, I just want to get copies of some of the receipts for I wonder what the highest simple purchases, you know? I wonder what the highest hourly rate you would pay in this building would be. Oh, uh, redact? Or whatever they do, you know, how they yeah. build. It's supposed to be the lowest rate. We were studying the records on one police chief. He made over $100 an hour. Police chief. Of Gainesville? No, no. I, I can't call exactly where it was, but um, it was in a story recently, and we researched how much he actually made. You know, like, did the records record? You looked at the records that were available to garner how much he made, and it was over $100 an hour. Isn't there um, <laughs> a website where you can look up salaries? S s certain places, yes. No, like a national one. Oh, uh... It's like... Public I don't know. We've been finding so much stuff now. Now public there's like a public baker. There's a public baker act. There's a public Brady list, Giglio list. Now mm. that's uh, we might have sent you the link. I don't know. But uh, anyway, there's a, a, a the, and they're adding stuff to it as it goes. It's, so it's not a dead one, you know. Good. Now, I went to the Alachua County, uh, the state. Huh? Do you know that one guy that was uh, doing uh, voice recognition of uh, cops? I know who, he, who you're talking about, okay. yeah. I'm wondering how his project. I going. don't know. I haven't seen him around for a while. Yeah. Well, hopefully the man didn't get him. Stopped him in the butt of, of his development. Yeah. You can come in, love. I think she's wanting to talk to somebody at the door. At the door? I don't know. Hmm? Hello. Do you need to talk with her? No, I'm working here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay you're fine, yeah. So I went to the state attorney office and I asked for a, a Brady Giglio list. Well, first, I went to the Gainesville Police Department. And they told me to go to the state attorney office, number eight. So I went there and I asked for one. 
they haven't acknowledged me. But I did go to the public defender. Um, actually, we're working on it. Um, we don't have anybody right now in that department that states that has access to those documents. I'll be honest with you. Um, so, and you're welcome to record me all day long. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with it. Doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, yeah. I've been in law enforcement for 30 years. I've been recorded my entire life. Well, there you go. So, I mean, I, I welcome go. I welcome you, and I welcome to uh, providing you with whatever assistance that I can, uh, to the extent that I have the knowledge and ability. Um, but it, it, we, like I said, we don't have anybody that has access to those. Right. Uh, records right now. I'm going to leave my card then, and you great. can just tell them to forward me the PDF. Okay. Um, if they don't have one, they can call the bank. I know where to go. Send them a PDF. Excuse me, guys. Yep. The bank will send them a PDF. It doesn't cost anything. There's not much of failure to redact except for the card number, and usually the bank does that itself. Okay. So I get these all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to, you know, we want to look over and see what kind of spending's going on, where it's going. Uh, yeah, do you guys absolutely. have a policy manual as well? We do. It's all online, though. Everything's okay. online. So if you go on Board Docs, Alachua County Board Docs, you can see up at the top it says policies. You can go and see every single one of our policies. Okay, under, great. Yeah, because I don't need to see that to see what yeah. the charges are. Suspect and which ones are. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, yeah, a lot of food I've been finding on, on these. It's a lot. Oh, yeah, we're not allowed to, like, P cards, purchase cards. We're not allowed yeah. to buy any food or anything on those types of things. Right. No, They're just... very strict in, uh, about what you can and you cannot. Well, like, all I do for my department is uh, office supplies. That's it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the way it's supposed to be, but you'd be surprised with what I found. I found uh, one lady, and it wasn't here, but I found one lady. She had bought her kids' school uniforms online. Uh -huh. uh, another lady had a, sent an edible arrangement to another person. And hell, last week I found, I, I, I want to say it's a Popka. Popka, yes. Yeah. Do you they, just go uh, to the school districts or you're going to like the city? I go to, I go to every public entity, uh -huh. you know, and sometimes depending on what kind of public entity it is, I'll ask for credit card records or, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a water department, I'll ask for billing rates and, you know, stuff to do with like ADA compliance, sure. you know, because uh, I got a buddy who, who's uh, disabled. Mm -hmm. So um, he's been fighting with them for years, like to put a mailbox on his side of the street, like just little bitty stupid stuff. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for a disabled person, that means the world. <laughs> you Absolutely. Know? No, yeah, so, I see that. And um, yeah. so yeah, we go around. I'm, we'll just I'm I'm all uh, I'm all about transparency and you know. See what we like to look at. Well, we need to be. We need to be because I'll tell you what. They need to see you. In the okay, we'll be good. I think we're going to be done here in just a minute. Yeah. I'll be able to handle it. We we I had a Sumter County Council meeting uh, a couple months back, mm -hmm. and uh, they're from the villages. So they're all retired ex-public employees from New York, New yeah. Jersey, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they're there bitching about the local government raising the fire assessment fee. And I try to tell people, I says, when you're in government, you got to be careful, right? You, it it's behooves us to for all of us to be transparent. Because Absolutely. one day you, you won't be in government, and you'll be yes. sitting at that council meeting saying, I'm on a fixed income, mm -hmm. I can't pay these rates for you to build a brand new city hall that's... 700 stories high, you know? For sure. So uh, it just it makes good sense that everybody Understood. would like to, uh, you know, do that. But all right, well, thank you. So it's can I ask you? It's a pleasure. Uh, what is your name? My name is Doug Pelton. Doug Pelton. And you work for? Alachua County Public Schools. I'm the chief of police for the Alachua County Public Schools Police okay. Department. Yep. I do uh, security and school safety for all of our schools. Uh, the majority of that is the uh, Marjorie Stoneman uh, Douglas Public Safety Act and, and uh, right. the Florida DOE rules to ensure that you know, all of our, our campuses are physically hardened and uh, our kids are safe. Now, what about at the individual schools? Mm -hmm. um, I, are people allowed to go there to make a public record? No. Nope. Like, am I no, allowed to go there? No, it's completely different when you're dealing with a school campus because, well, because we've got statutory... Um, protections from even now they they even just refined their um, drone uh, to be criminal so you can't even drone over a school anymore even okay. for people who are doing uh, surveys well because I, I know people not in Alachua County mm -hmm. but let's say Marion County and mm -hmm. Lake County uh, they've been to schools to get record requests 
And then the school board policy in Lake County, uh, the school board policy allows that, right? Because mm. uh, in, in Florida, uh, the way the Public Records Act reads is that uh, the generator of the record, right? So whoever generates the record is the custodian of the record. Now I know each county has so a custodian. Our policy, and if you look out here, that it should be up mm -hmm. out here. Actually, we can go here and look. Yeah, out. yeah. Yeah, give this. I know it's a little lobby. Thank you. Right. What this does, um, because it was actually people that I knew years ago, uh, people would go around to private companies that had contracts with the government. And they would ask those public companies to provide public records on that contract. Well, the people that ran the private companies had no idea how to comply with the public records law. So they wouldn't respond. And these guys were suing them. I mean, just hit them. You left them right hit them, hit them, hit them. So finally what happened was the legislature got together and said, okay, before you can sue for a public record request, if this is noticed in the building, then you have to submit it to the custodian and give them 10 days before you can sue. Because these guys are going like, they go in there, can I get a public record request? No, boom, next day, sue, bam. You know what I mean? So that, that's what they did there. But the law still allows for citizens to go to the, uh, the place where the, the records generate and, and get it from them as well. And I'll tell you the reason why is because my, the same guy that was doing that, he started doing um, school bus audits, okay? And there was an incident where a, a school bus had crashed somewhere up in St. John's County, I believe, and come to find out that the bus driver didn't do his morning pre-chat. We've got pre-chats and all that stuff, right? So he went out and he sat out and he video recorded the buses and he watched the drivers get out and not do their check and leave and then come back. And then he would go to the bus at the end of the day and he'd say, hey, can I see your pre check record? You know, he's the custodian. He's the one that generated the record. It says it's possession, right? And he'd ask him for that because now what would happen is that guy who not filled out his report yet. He'd wait till the end of the day that he'd fill out his reports, you know, short cut in the corner or whatever. Um, not and, doing it the right way. Right, right. And that, that's what will happen. If I, if I come in and request the bus driver, by the time it gets to me, it's already manipulated. Right? So I can't see the record. So that's why the, the law allows us to go wherever the records are generated. I want to represent them all the point this time. Right, right. Um, the material safety data sheets, they're original to each location, right? What the rules you have on the yes. property. So if I was to go to you know, the elementary school and say, hey, I need to see your MSBS, that would be a record that I would be available to get legally, and it would, I would have a purpose to get that. Now, I don't, I, I would have to, I don't, I'm not questioning you with that. It's the recording part of it. When we're on a facility like that, it's correct. Right. Circumstances like this, people are not used to 
course there is. So, so but that's the problem. It doesn't want to guard it. It makes them scared. Well, right, right. Because so me, I've been a cop for 30 years, right? I'm not scared. Well, not scared I don't know. I, I don't know, like, um, were you a criminal justice major in the formative years, or were you uh, non-traditional? So you were a non-traditional student, probably? In other words, you didn't come straight from high school to college. Okay, so, but everybody that's probably in there has a college education, at least an undergraduate degree. And so part of that curriculum, I know for a fact, because I've been there too, is public speaking, you know? And so that quashes all your fears, you know? And then when you're receiving a pay for a job to perform, then if it's your job to meet, you know, just like somebody dispatched you, you know? Somebody called you. Sure. They didn't want to do their job, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no! I'm just reducing it to the ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. It's I'm not scary. holding. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Right, and, and, and unfortunately, it's like that now because for so long, Americans have just been. I voted, so you know my job. Of, you know, watching what the government does or whatever is over. And, you know, most Americans vote party line, so it doesn't matter. They don't even have to watch the news anymore. They, oh, you know, time to vote Republican. Or, oh, time to vote Democrat. You know, four years, and then you know, I can worry about my own life. I'm not trying. Yeah, that's right. I'm not trying to entrap you, but I just want to say, you see how that works? I'm going to reduce it to the ridiculous. And then they called somebody that was armed. You know, and, and but, but just your, you just that's your. Not me. Just your mere position, just your mere presence is is use of force. You know that they train you that in the academy. Just 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 the eminence, the essence of your presence, and and conductor. You know that's the most that's the most largest show of force. Oh no no, I'm not penalizing you, and I'm not trying to entrap you or you. You were called and you came. Yeah yeah, I will. I just want to say, you see why we're here. Because we test the waters. I and, and legally support you. Legally. Oh, legally and lawfully, yeah, yeah. And I'm not trying to, you know, like I said, entrap you or run you up on a snag or get you to make any statements. I just want to say, you see how it works. This wasn't a frivolous exercise in futility. This was, you know, it, it revealed something. Well, you know? Especially if I get those records. <laughs> so, yeah, just have to eat. And you got a good critique for showing up. Yeah, you don't want to do your job, so you call fucking. He was cool though. I mean, he wasn't overbearing. He wasn't flexing. But uh, one of the main uh, elements of them appearing is a, that's a, a use of force. Yes. So I'm gonna. I'm out here with the Rug Nation. I'm gonna. Shut off. And we were at the Alaska County School Board.